Hey everyone, this is Robert from North Star Day Trading again. Wanted to share something I'm working on, sort of a combination between two different indicators. Uh, one of them is the ratcheting stop and the other is a simple reversal entry. Um, I think it works out pretty good. Uh, the ratcheting stop is something I have another video on. You should really check that out also. Uh, as a quick explanation, the ratcheting stop is similar to a trailing stop, except you can set when it turns on and how far the market has to move before the stop is moved each time. So if I have a trailing stop, let's say of 10 points, and I go long here, uh, every time the market moves up, it's going to trail it by 10 points. The ratcheting stop says, well, let's enter with 10 points and put a stop 20 points away, for example, then wait for the market to move 10, 15, 20 points, and when it does, continue to move this up by five points each time. It's a pretty cool concept, so you can have an initial stop loss in case you're wrong, and then you can say, well, if I'm right, make sure the market moves a certain distance before adjusting my stop, and then trail it up at a certain number of ticks or points along the way. I'll go through those settings in a minute, um, but that's what is built into this, along with the reversal. So I'm just using some Renko bars at the top and a, a range chart at the bottom to show the differences. It's a simple reversal. This comes down, goes up the other direction, goes long, a stop will be below here, and then as the market moves up, the stop is going to ratchet along with pieces along the way. Um, let's take a look at the settings. I have to disable this here momentarily. So here are the settings. Uh, I'm just using one contract for this example. Now my initial stop when I make an entry is gonna be 60 ticks away. Once the market moves, 40 ticks, it's going to turn the ratchet on. The first thing that's going to do, it's going to move the stop to 20 ticks away, which is going to move it above break even, and then it's going to pause. It's going to move, it's not going to move the stop again until the market moves another 20 ticks. We initially start at 60. Once it moves 40, we're going to take our break even, or just above break even but then we're gonna closely follow it up. Every 20 ticks now, we're gonna keep it 20 ticks away instead of 40. So it's you'll see how it works, it's pretty straightforward. I have that on the chart up here and I have the uh, exact same settings right here, 60, 40, 20, 20, and this is on the range chart. So let's get a look at it and, and actually see what happens. Now this is automated, so once it detects a, a reversal, uh, we can see this one here, this came down, it's going to take a series of seven candles here. It goes down, comes back up, it went long here, um, pulled back a little, and it, as it broke and as it started moving up, um, the, the ratchet followed it, eventually got stopped out here. Now this is historical, so this trade at the bottom and these ones at the top here do not make any sense um, once you load the, the charts historically. Uh, they just stamp in so so this long actually would be up here somewhere in this short this stop out was probably going to be somewhere around here once it pulled back But we'll see it in real time. I just downloaded the data here from these days based on the data it is I loaded it last week and I'm going to start this at a pretty quick speed uh, Until we get an entry So here we are. I just pause it real quick here. So here we have a reversal. This comes down reverses There's our entry our initial stop is here. It's 60 ticks away once the market moves down 40, it's going to move the stop inside at 20 ticks away, so half the distance, and then every 20 ticks the market moves, it's going to keep this 20 ticks away. So essentially it can move down 19 ticks, come back up 19 and then back up 20 to get stopped out. It's fairly rare, but these settings are all adjustable um, if, you, if you wish to make it so it takes a break, and then once it moves just a couple of points or a few ticks, you can just trail it right down quickly, take some scalps along the way. So let's let this run and let's see what happens. This is a 40, uh, 40 range, um, uh, 40 tick Renko bar, excuse me. Um, and the reason I did this is because it, I made this initial one 60 ticks, is that's a bar and a half. If this goes up and closes white like these, um, it's, it's not going to do anything. It has to actually come up and, and try to flip the other direction. So there's our first white. We can see we did not hit our stop. And I just know from watching this that we will get a ratchet out of it. So keep your eye. Once the market comes down to a certain point here, 40 ticks away, it's going to move our stop down. And I will slow the market down when that happens. We know this on we know this entry's on top because we can see our unrealized PL 
moving, whereas it's not moving down the bottom here on the range chart. Okay, there we go. If we see, this actually moved down, and it moved down again once the market um, moved another 20 ticks, it's going to follow it. And let's go a little here, a little bit further, and there's our stop out. So that first stop, market pulled back, stopped us out. It may continue on. It's totally fine. We don't worry about it. The, the strategy of the uh, the yeah the strategy and the automation is doing its job. I'm gonna speed this up again. Now we'll be looking for a flip to the long side on either the upper chart or the lower chart. And if it does, I will slow this down if we get in a trade, so we can see it move. Okay, so here we are. Slowed it down. We're here. If the market pushes up, our stop should move inside and it should trail it as it moves up. We have nothing down the bottom yet. No entries. I believe this one runs up for a little bit. So let me speed it up for the first ratchet. <clears throat> okay, there we go. Now I'm going to slow it down. If the market moves up further, you should see the stop ratchet up along with it. There it goes. As soon as it jumped up, the market pulled back a little bit and it was stopped out. And here we are in a short. Now this is an interesting one because we're short here. Okay. There's our unrealized, and we're also short here. There's our unrealized. So now they're both moving. Now, as soon as they adjust, since the, the settings are the same, the stop losses should be adjusted the exact same. And there they are. So as the market's moving down, the stop is ratcheting down with it, just like that. And as soon as it pulls back a little bit, which, by the way, we can hit close here and close here, and it will take both of these trades and just stop everything didn't need to it actually pulled back a little bit we did lose some because of when it was down here and it pulled back it stopped out so we lost a little bit of gains but that's trading that's how it goes first few trades that ended up being 1200 as you can see the reversals now what you can do also is let's say this I don't believe this move is done yet it just pulled back a little bit I can actually enter again I'm gonna enter short this is entering short, and we're at 8x speed here. So it will move exactly the same way. And that said, once this gets up like this, I may want to just close my trade, close my position, add to my, um, add to my profits, so I don't take any more losses. Now let's see if this turns around one more time. Let's speed it up. <clears throat> 500x. And we'll give it one more. Here we go. Okay, so now we are long up here. And we, if the market moves, continues, we should get our ratcheting stop. If it doesn't, we're going to get stopped out for 15 ticks. It moved up. Our stop jumped inside. And let's go a little further. 100x and there we are stopped out right here stopped out for our ratchet so it's not too bad up top not too bad down the bottom uh, anyway hopefully that um, is a good example of what I'm working with uh, I'll be releasing this pretty soon and uh, thanks for watching let me know if you have any questions